Long before birds, the sky belonged to the dragons of bone and air. Their wings were not feathers, but living sails, veins carrying the breath of flight. To fly is to fall, until the wind remembers your name. The sky, their ocean, the wind, their endless tide. They built their homes where the land dared to touch the clouds. In the air, power was measured, not in size, but in mastery of the wind. Each dive was a gamble, the river of life and death in one strike. For millions of years, the skies carried migrations greater than any before or since. Beneath their shadow, oceans breathed with life, the sea answering the sky. But the sky gives, and the sky takes, its beauty born of danger. The wind became an enemy, they could not fight, only dance with... In the storm's heart, even the sky forgets its children. The air turns to water, and freedom to wait. But the sea was never empty, its hunters waited in silence. The ocean remembers no mercy. The storm passed, but not without taking names. And so, the survivors fly again, the sky forgiving, but never forgetting. From storm to shore, life endures, as it always has. To fly together was the oldest language of love. From fragile shells, new wings will rise. The air now belonged to giants, wings wider than any creature the world had ever seen. They ruled not just the skies, but the lands from which they leapt. They spent their lives between worlds, never truly of the sky, nor the earth. From above, death came with silence and speed. When one fell, others came, the sky fed on its own kind. The crown of the sky was never given, it was taken in battle. When titans meet, even the wind trembles. The sky forgets no one, it simply buries them in clouds. Peace returns, brief as the beating of wings. The gift of flight was not strength, it was survival through care. Every dawn, the sky opened and the kings rose once more. The sky was not a place, it was an empire without borders. Even those on the ground lived beneath their dominion. In the balance of air and earth, the world found its rhythm. But harmony is fragile, the earth beneath was never still. The same wings that danced with clouds now struggled through ash. When the sky burns, even kings must kneel. The empire of wind began to starve.
Nature's Fury wrote endings in fire and sound. The last king takes to the air, not to rule, but to remember. Once crowded with giants, the heavens now fall silent. The last of its kind, a shadow that refuses to fade. Hunger turned kings into wanderers. The sky dimmed, not from clouds, but from the dying earth. In their flight, they carried the memory of millions. Between fire and sky, there was no refuge left. The wind cried for those who could no longer fly. Fire devoured the sky, and the sky devoured the world. And then, silence, the final voice of the earth. The last wings that once ruled the clouds now rest in dust. The echoes of wings still linger, though the sky has forgotten their names. In death, the earth sleeps to dream of life again. Time, the greatest sculptor, begins its work. What once flew now sleeps within the earth's memory. Millions of years passed, the sky reborn again and again. And at last, another species learns to look upward. The story of the sky, carved in stone for all to see. In every dream of flight, echoes a memory of them. The wings of today are the whispers of yesterday. The wind remembers, it carries the stories of those who dared to fly. Long after the wings turned to dust, the sky remained, vast, patient, eternal. Even air can leave its mark in the memory of stone. From their fall, others rose, life reshaping its dream of flight. Feathers carried what bones could not, the promise of air. Their songs were the sky reborn in sound. The wind remembers everything, every flight, every fall. From stone to sky, life never stopped dreaming. What was once lost returns in feathers, song and breath. Now, we too have learned to fly, not as kings, but as dreamers. Iron replaced bone, but the dream stayed the same. Every wing, ancient or new, beats to the same rhythm of wonder. The clouds hold their memories, written in wind, erased by time. The sky paints its history not in ink, but in motion. The air we breathe is ancient, the same that lifted the giants. The sky no longer belongs to beasts, it belongs to those who remember them. Time whispers, but the wind remembers every sound.
In every wing today, a fragment of the first two soar. The spirit of the sky never dies, it only changes form. The earth forgets nothing, it keeps the stories buried in silence. Flight never ends, it simply changes wings. Every breath we take carries a memory of wings that once ruled these skies. The sky never sleeps, it only dreams between dawns. Even the stars look down upon their bones, reminders of flight eternal. The rivers of today flow not on land, but through the sky itself. Above all, creation, the sky has watched, patient, silent, infinite. Kingdoms rise and vanish, but their dust still whispers the same name, sky. Every flight plants the future, the sky grows forests from wings. The air we breathe today once carried giants through the dawn of time. The wind teaches, strength lies not in force, but in persistence. Humanity built towers to touch the sky, not to conquer it, but to feel closer to its dream. Shadows pass, where wings once soared, the circle complete. The wind remembers, it carries every echo of every life that ever touched the sky. Every breath is a gift from the wings that came before. Together, they sing the oldest song, the song of flight. The sky has no end, only new beginnings. Time passes, but wonder does not. From the depths of oceans to the heights of clouds, life has always reached upward. And still we live beneath the same eternal sky. In every storm, in every gust, their shadows still fly. This is their legacy, the eternal sky.